Hi, I'm Sandy Chavez, host of Holland Fintech Live News. And in this week's news roundup, Bunk gets approval for major Series A, Dog purchases Kakao, and Citibank teams up with API Exchange. Bunk from the Netherlands announced that the Nederlandse Bank has approved its funding of 193 million euros from British private equity firm Poland Street Capital. This is the largest Series A round ever in Europe and powers Bunk to acquire Dublin-based SME lender Capital Flow as part of the deal. This news follows last year's revelation that it had become the first digital challenger bank to offer mortgages. The finance company secured a partnership with a Dutch lending platform Tulp for Dutch customers at the start of early 2022. Co-founder and CCO of Tulp Group Paul Wessels says this partnership is a great opportunity to further position of the existing Dutch lending platform. Doc, the Brazilian-based fintech company, announced that they purchased Mexican-based Cacao Pay Card Solutions. Doc is known for providing Latin American consumers an infrastructure for financial tech companies. And with this gain, they plan to expand further than its current reach of 40.9 million active accounts. This may create a step forward for Mexico since only less than half of the country's population holds a bank account. Doc Chief Executive Officer says the two companies share significant values to enable clients access to the financial system for millions of unbanked and underbanked people in Latin America. City Singapore and API exchange Apex announced plans for a partnership agreement. With this collaboration, City hopes to tap into the global ecosystem of fintech firms and to be able to quickly identify solutions and partnerships with less burden. They're emerging within Apex's global presence across 96 markets. This will also allow City to benefit from a rapid proof of concepts within certain fintech partners. And last but not least, in funding rounds, San Mateo, California-based Depalti is now one of the world's most valuable financial technology startups thanks to a newly closed $270 million funding round that values it at $8.3 billion. We Lab from Indonesia has raised $240 million from existing and new investors in the company's investment round this year, which is claimed to be the largest fintech financing in the country. Lydia, the French fintech company, has raised $100 million in Series C round. Originally, they began as a P2P payments app, but has since branched out into loans and saving products, netting more than 5.5 million users in the process. For this and much more, you can subscribe to our weekly newsletter for the latest news, investments, insights, and research. Please visit hollandfintech.com news. And that's it for this week's News Roundup. I'm Sandy Chavez of Holland Fintech, and thank you so much for watching. Oh,